What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the announcement from Bungie. Of course, today was the big day for the journey ahead. We got a lot of info about the echoes, which sound a lot better than I was expecting. And also something for year 11 in Destiny 2. Now we're not going to get Destiny 3 next year. A lot of people thought maybe that was going to be the announcement, but it's a code name Frontiers for Destiny 2 year 11 content. So that is all we got right now. We don't have any more info about that. But it does look like we're going to get another expansion for Destiny 2 next year. And like I said, the code name is Frontiers. There's been a lot of speculation. People wondering if it's going to be, you know, us adventuring into some other planets we have not been to yet. We'll kind of have to wait and see. I'm sure it's going to be several, several months before we get any more info about that. But just so you know, next year, year 11, there still will be content for Destiny 2. Now, they did get into the Echoes, which... I kind of wondered uh, when this was announced they were going away from seasons and going more into these, you know, more episode style ideas that they might kind of just trickle content out throughout the year and keep some people interested in the game and then, you know, come out with something big next year, whether it be a new game or another expansion. But these Echoes actually look like uh, they're going to be really, really good. And the first episode starts tomorrow on the 11th of June. So that will be live tomorrow. I think it comes out at 1 uh, p.m. Eastern, but this is going to focus on an Echo hitting Nessus. And if you've been to Nessus lately, uh, you've noticed since the final shape raid was completed, all that went on. There's been a lot of like tremors and earthquake kind of things going on there on Nessus. And it says this is messing with the Vex. And pretty much all of this kind of goes or, or kind of goes with the whole final shape story uh, after, you know, the end happened in the final shape and i'm not going to ruin that for anyone if you still have not beat it yet but the travelers uh you know kind of echoes the light that's coming uh, off of the traveler coming out of the traveler is causing chaos everywhere and so the vex on nessus are you know kind of it's stirring them up you know it's causing some different things and it says uh where failsafe will be our point of contact after being dormant pretty much since the vanilla campaign. There will be a new three-man activity in this as well. And there's also radio lair and wells that will be deep in the moon to find that lost civilization. There's also a new Vex bad guy. Uh, there's kind of some speculation who that will be. Uh, that's going to be kind of interesting to have a new you know Vex enemy to uh, face off against as well. They kind of also talked about some of the weapons and things and it all looks pretty interesting. The one that really caught my attention was Revenant, one of the Echoes uh, that will come out later this year. And this is about the fallen and scorned power struggle where it's revealed that uh, the Echo has put, um, of course, this staff has returned, which is not good news for anyone. The theme of this is vampire hunting. And that was something that really kind of was interesting sounding to me. That you're going to be this, you know, kind of, monster hunter in destiny 2 and this is going to be something very interesting you're going to be part of this member of the ancient fallen order of hunters and this will no doubt involve crow as the main npc kind of with you uh it's kind of the idea most people are you know kind of hinting at and last but not least is heresy and this episode is about the hive pantheon uh kind of just in general and its existence and its relationship with you know kind of in itself and it says um just in general uh, of course sabathun is going to be kind of involved in this of course we all kind of assume that considering she is involved and of course kind of the end of the final shape story um so overall uh, this episode about the heresy uh, or the episode or the echo about heresy is something that really I think caught a lot of people in the community's attention too is because the Dreadnought is coming back. So that's something we have not seen in Destiny in a while either. And they say they've pretty much completely revamped that Dreadnought. So that's something that I know a lot of you will probably be really excited to hear because when I saw that I was like, that's really, you know, something that some old school Destiny fans will really find, you know, neat that is returning to the game, but also new players will get to experience that as well. I think the episode idea in general is uh, a lot better than I was expecting and probably a lot better than a lot of people in the community were expecting. And considering, you know, we just finished the final shape story. Most of us have, of course, the raid has been beaten. We got that last, you know, kind of 
story ending, uh, you know, part there of the 12 man activity that kind of ends the light and dark saga. Bungie really did not let their foot off the gas, announcing all of these echoes with these really interesting stories. They're, they're talking about, of course, in the trailer, um, you know, experiencing things in Destiny that you've never experienced before. So it seems like they're putting a lot of thought into the content for the echoes, but also already putting in thought for, you know, what's going to happen next year and year 11 with some more, what seems to be more content coming to the game, like expansion wise so overall i was really um happy to see what you know bungie's doing and so far so good i mean the way they have done uh you know things with the final shape and it was one like i said in kind of my review the best probably thing that bungie's ever done in my opinion there's a few stories in halo that were really good but this is definitely on par with some of their old storytelling and it's definitely the best thing they have done in destiny for sure story-wise and if they continue this with the echoes and going into year 11 it's going to be a really good couple years for destiny 2 leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace